What is up guys and welcome back to a new video. Why am I standing up? Because I want to stand up for this video because I'm a little bit mad man. When I got a doubling on the sneakers app, I thought I bought the Jordan 4's bread reimagined and not reusable, reused or whatever they've been doing with my shoes, trying the free throw line dunk, attempting that on grass man because Nike sent me some used shoes, man. What the hell? Like, what are they doing with my shoes? Like, what? I mean, I don't want to be dramatic. Well, I kind of was. But it's like, why are there mud stains or like, I don't know what the hell that is. It's like a like a stone or something in my shoe. I don't know, man. Like, what were they doing with the shoes? But nonetheless, we got the Jordan 4 bread reimagined. Um, we got the bread from 2019 today. I'm going to show you guys both of them, compare them. Unbox the shoes on feet and all that. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it as always If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it guys. I miss doing videos I can't believe I'm doing a video right now. I feel motivated as F and I'm enjoying it So <laughs> let's go and take a look at the shoes So um, the box is the reverse box. Usually let me show you the other box for a second So the box was like this 2019 um, this is the reverse box as you can see which I really like, um, but I'm giving you a quick look and then we can start comparing. Um, yeah, wrapping paper is different from 2019 was black wrapping paper, this is the cement one. Um, but yeah, overall the biggest thing you'll notice on the, yeah, the shoe is the leather part. You can see this one is shiny leather on it, you know. For me, I mess with this look, it depends on the fit. This could be a nice look. Uh, which one would I take? I will tell you at the end of the video. But this is not bad because also the leather quality on them like this leather is really really soft and premium like really really good job on the leather i'm not gonna lie but one question why is the why are they laced so tight bro what is this like i'm telling you they were attempting to dunk with this shoe they would tie them tight as f and went down there and start running doing sprints and jumps and dunking on shit like why are they so tight like look at this like damn man what is this Anyways, um, you get this black tag with it, with it, with it. You get this black tag with it. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, I, I cleaned them, but I think that we have still something in here. Bro, I don't know what the hell that is. But yeah, they're clean now. <laughs> I cleaned them for the video. And another thing, they when they were cutting the leather, I guess, um, they forgot about this spot. They said, you know what, let's keep it a little bit of leather over there. I can cut it and sell it maybe, makes a little bit of money back. But yeah. The biggest thing you'll notice the difference from the 2019 and this one is the shape of the shoe. These are similar to the SP4s if you have them. Um, they are more comfortable. So the, the, if you wear them, you will notice a little bit more comfort in them. I think I don't know if it's the mind thing, but the shape is kind of is a little bit different. If you look at the 2019 pair, uh, you can see the toe box on the new ones is a little bit lower. The cut is lower, and um, I feel like it's. I don't know why, but it feels a little more comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Like what they did from the inside, I don't know if there's anything different, different, but the shape is a little bit different. On the back, we got the Nike Air, which a lot of people love more than the Jump On logo. A lot of people love the Nike Air, so we got that on the back as well. So um, the other one, the 2019 pair, you got Newback, Newback leather. That's how we pronounce it, bro. I have no idea. And on this one, you get this shiny leather. You know, that's a major difference. I like the low key li look more, to be honest. But I feel like it depends on your fit. This could complement some fits, and the other one could complement other fits. Um, both of them are nice. Both of them for me, I must have 10 out of 10 shoes, man. Colorway is amazing, and the quality on the leather again is good. On the inside of the tank, we get the flipped Air Jordan as always, upside down Air Jordan. Brats, focus. Air Jordan as you can see here with the red tongue and you get the jump and logo on the tongue I've seen a lot of people get them also like flipped uh, fly tag I don't know why it was like upside down yeah but this is the left side so I would say the one who was attempting to dunk with my shoes had only one leg or he was trying one shoe on because the left side was dirty but the right one was not dirty actually it was still clean uh, but they are tight as F like look at this lacing bro <laughs> like what is this like I've never seen lacing that tight to be honest. Um, another thing you can notice is that the cage is a little bit smaller. So the cage shape on the 2024 one, the reimagined, reimagined ones is a little bit smaller as the other one uh, on the 2019 pair. So you can notice that as well. And the cage is shiny on here on this pair. Um, but other than that, pretty much the same shoe colorway wise. Um, where the where red, gray, black, it's all in the same areas. 
I love this shoe, man. I really do love him. The thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Retail is too high, 220. I don't know if I'm gonna really keep them uh, or just keep the 2019 pair and wear that or keep both. I love this shoe. It's one of my, actually, it's probably my favorite fours, no collab shoes, counted. Probably the, the breads are my favorite Jordan fours. So another pair, maybe fresh pair. Wouldn't hurt. I don't know, man. I'll, I need to think about it. But yeah, let me know, let me know in the comments which one would you prefer the 2019 one, the Loki Newback, 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 New one or the reimagined one with this shiny leather. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm gonna throw them that one feed and show you the whole look and feed. If you enjoyed this quick review unboxing, man, make sure to like it. I appreciate you all, guys. I wish you all a great, great Sunday evening. I don't know when you're watching this. Great week, man. Take care and until next time, peace out.